Hey guys, what's happening? So, it's been a couple days since I made a video, but I've been working the whole time on different projects, and then I'd show you my um, pneumatic air control system or, or cooling system for my uh, 3018. Uh, this is an MKS DLC 2.0. Um, and yeah, actually, one of the issues with the uh, board that came with this 3018 printer is it doesn't actually have an A3 pin. And you need an A3 pin to be able to control coolant. So the A3 pin is, I can't see, but it's somewhere like right here, somewhere in here. But like I said, the A3 pin is actually what you control coolant with. It's M8, M9, uh, the dribble command to enable it. So this is actually like about a $10 pneumatic air control valve I got on Amazon. Put a link down below. And I also designed this thing that's going to go on the back of this printer. I mean, not printer, but the uh, CNC. <coughs> So it's going to hold a coolant bottle and this pneumatic control there. Put that there so it wouldn't spin. It would hold it tight. Um, so I'm going to get this going. I'm going to give it a test. and uh, You're going to need to have a MOSFET um, because the E3 pin can only put out, you know, like like 20 milliwatt or not 20, uh, 20 uh, milliamp. And uh, this this MOSFET without a, without a heat sink, I'll open it up. But uh, this can do one amp without a heat sink. And if you wanted to send more current through it, you have to add a heat sink to it. But I'm actually going to redesign this box right here, this dribble box, um, for, with more. I'm probably going to actually add MOSFETs here, so I can actually uh, control two different things. Um, yeah, if you saw this right here, this is my front containment system. Um, I have another video coming up about that. I got to finish it up. You know, lights on it. And I already did this before my chip catcher. So I'm designing a whole containment system for that thing, but that's coming in an upcoming video. Alright, so let's get this going. Let's get the uh, pneumatic air control valve and coolant system going. Alright, I have it connected to the board, A3 pin. Now on the right side is the ground pin. On the left side is the actual control pin. So I have one side going to the ground, one side to the signal. Then I have my power supply here, 12 volt. It's on right now, but it's connected to the uh, voltage in and ground, and that voltage out is going to the actual uh, pneumatic control valve here. And this is going to be controlled by gerbil via the uh, M8, M8 and M9 commands. Alright, so if you don't know what a MOSFET is, it's an electrically controlled switch. So it's very, it basically, it's, a, it's a basically like a car relay. And um, but the difference is there's no moving parts internally. It's all done through this transistor right here. Okay, give this thing a test. And do an M8 command here. M8. M8. And you're going to be able to hear it click. Get some, hear that click? That means air is activated. M9. Air is deactivated. So yeah, because on some of these things I probably won't have, won't want to have air. So I think that's going to be cool to be able to turn the air on and off and the mist. You know, I mean, if I don't want coolant, you know, or whatever. But uh, all right, guys, that's how it does. That works. All right. So yeah, I did the same thing with my laser cutter. You know, with the air air assist. But um, yeah, it kind of sucks. Like I said, the stock board doesn't actually have an A3 pin. So you can't even control coolant with the, I think it's called a, what's it called, Woodpecker 3.4 board. Yeah, it has a probe pin, I mean, I designed that thing too, but it's, doesn't have a, an option for uh, coolant. Alright, cool. 